This is a remake of episode 114, which I unfortunately had to take down. And I'm gonna explain why. And I'm gonna try to make it short as well. I'm now sitting on board B3, and B3 is something I consider as my home. And you guys, as returning viewers, is someone I consider as my friends. Because friends is what you invite into your home. And I on not only share my home with you, I also share my adventure and also the stories and everything what I do. So friends is someone you take into your life, into your home and have a good time with. Unfortunately, this time there were a lot of people I would not consider as friends on this channel. And I'm not crying for myself now because uh, if people find my English funny, <laughs> trust me, I also find it funny. Um, uh, it's not my mother tongue. I try to speak as well as I can, uh, but it's, of course, it's not my language. Also, if people find it funny how I look or how I appear, I couldn't care less. <laughs> I'm too old to bother about that shit. So the thing is, the reason why I took this episode down was all the nasty comments and sleazy comments and sexual harassment comments against my friends. And there is where I draw the line because I can defend myself. But uh, people featuring in my videos, in my episodes, they are my friends. And I don't accept really nasty comments against my friends. Um, I was basically forced to just take this episode down because I could not keep up with all these really nasty comments. So yeah, that's I, I guess it's the dark side of running a channel like this. Anyway, I hope you understand. Um, I have uh, altered this episode a little bit. I have unfortunately felt the need of taking out some parts, but I have also added a lot of other stuff. So I hope it's still seaworthy. And um, yeah, that's what I had to say and I hope you enjoy this episode. It's so hot here now. It's uh, like, uh, I don't know, it's like almost no air. <laughs> it's, it's totally crazy. So just northeast of me now, there is a weather system building up. I've been monitoring for quite a while. And at the time, I was a little bit concerned if it would develop to a hurricane and come this direction. Because even though it's not normal to have hurricanes here, it have happened. And Rick have unsophisticated lady right off a few hurricanes right here where I am now. Next step, knowing it will keep a distance, is to monitor its tail, because even being on a safe distance this could grow rapidly and the tail could also generate local phenomena as tropical storm force winds. But since this is a remake of this episode, we now have the blueprint, and my thoughts goes to the people of Florida and the previous affected areas. Anyway, uh, we were in uh, the cove and been commuting a little bit between the cove and Nenes, where I'm right now and that's because in Nenes it's very uh, short distance to the grocery stores and to stock up and things and uh, the cove is uh, basically paradise <laughs> it's such a beautiful place and we celebrated uh, Maddie's birthday with uh, lots of fun <laughs> Maddie wanted to borrow B3 for her birthday party fun day after the successful impulsive B3 beach club party we had earlier so I had arrived a bit earlier and prepared a bit extra to make her day special. My cockpit speakers outside have seen better days, so I decided to upgrade the sound with two new speakers that can be paired with Bluetooth. <laughs> That's a B3 bar Thomas size speaker. And this is the sophisticated sized portable lithium power station. I did not know at this moment my JBL speakers also handles 220 volts, that's my European standard. And the 110 volt inverter I had was too weak.
after Maddie's birthday um, in the cove, uh, Rick told me that he was taking in water on his propeller shaft. So uh, I rushed over to my uh, dear neighbor to see if I could assist. And, uh, while doing bolt yoga inside his uh, engine compartment, uh, it came a squall with some uh, rain. And of course, I had forgot one of my hatches. Normally, I make sure all the hatches is always closed on my boat before leaving it. But uh, this time, <laughs> I rushed to my neighbor. So that means I got some water in, and uh, it was only one hatch uh, above the galley, but uh, the strong wind and the rain uh, flooded my Mac. So it died. <laughs> it was, uh, I could open it like this and the water was just pouring out of it. Um, unfortunately, it was connected to uh, power because I was trying to do two things at the same time to upload a video. And this kind of things just happens. And also being on a boat is not the right or <laughs> good environment for uh, fine electronics like computers, Macs, cameras and even external hard drives and stuff like that. I showed you, I don't know, some quite some episodes ago that uh, I, my previous MacBook died and uh, that turned out to be some hardware problem but uh, yeah, you know, it's difficult to... Uh... So back in Nenes, Maddie helped me explaining in Spanish what happened to my MacBook and fingers crossed at least the data can be saved. I had invested quite a lot of time into this episode that was supposed to be how to understand a mass production yacht. And it was actually the one I tried to upload when everything was going down the toilet. This was of course a bit annoying, but it's also part of the game. New parts are already on its way, so again fingers crossed. And next week I will know if it's possible to save this Mac and hopefully some of the animations I made on it and of course had forgot to back up. It's a bit sad with all the wasted time being in such a beautiful place making videos below deck. But also this is part of the game. Because it was the last days for a sophisticated lady in San Andreas, I also went back to the lagoon to have the last dinner together. And while Maddie is preparing dinner, the little thing I could do is to take care of Ricardo. He have had such a big evolution only the short time we have been together here. And of course, he always sits totally quiet and relaxed in the arms of Uncle Thomas. I can't really explain why. It might only be one of my God-given gifts. In my entire life you could just place any baby on my lap and they would instantly stop crying and just chill. So of course I had to demonstrate this for the crew on Sophisticated Lady. Location or something. <laughs> what do you call your restaurant Maddie? Because this is definitely the five star. Is uh... Maddie restaurant. Maddie restaurant. <laughs> I don't know. The Italian I don't know. galley. Italian galley, yeah. It's a ratatouille of veg. Cheers to the Italian galley. Yeah. Ratatouille. Ratatouille and steak. And, and uh, yeah, it's a gongozola steak. Oh. Blue cheese uh, no. mignon oh, yeah. fillet. Smells delicious. Blue cheese and the spoiled mignon cap. fillet. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that always get the nice food. Well, Thanks, yeah, Maddie. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you. Enjoy, enjoy, everyone. Yeah, enjoy. Oh, oh, it is. Look at this. What are you thinking? Mm. Unfortunately, mm. unfortunately, on mm. YouTube there is no smell sensor, so you cannot smell how mm. good this is. Well, it's delicious. <laughs> so sorry, but it's On departure day for Sophisticated Lady and the crew, I picked up Cathy so she could join me sending them off and say see you later. I suppose I am the boss. Okay. <laughs> for Cathy that has been Maddie's friend here for two years or so, this was of course a bit emotional. That's why I wanted her to have this special send away opportunity together with me in my dinghy. 
and Rick left me this. Um, I'm also waiting for a big shipment that's coming in here to San Andreas. Um, I'm gonna collect a lot of things for Rick and Maddie because uh, their visa expired so they have to, had to leave San Andreas. But I still have uh, some more weeks left here so I'm gonna collect it and bring it to Panama. Also I'm waiting for my new anchor that's gonna be uh, really nice. Uh, a little bit oversized but I think it's gonna be good. Back in the Anchorage we are now only three boats left. The fourth one is a local charter boat and the fifth is the ghost ship. So it's quite a special place to be in many ways. And to make it even more crazy, the cove where I'm heading back to is going to be only my boat at anchor. I really love sailing solo, enjoying what I consider as the ultimate freedom. However, I'm also a super social person and ever since I started this adventure, I invented something I named the Be Free Pop-Up Bar. This concept has worked really well, opening doors and building social network in new places in a warp speed. Exploring new places is more fun with others and is the only part that can be lonely as a solo sailor. So my solution to this has been my open doors to my home with this funny concept that so far has been a great success. The ice box in my cockpit is full of bears. The weather is perfect and lots of friends is coming over for swimming and fun later today. Se van a desvanecer Algún día volverás Tu al lado mío this lasted to sunrise Sunday and now you probably understand even more why I just love my swimming platform and a big cockpit with lots of space. And now I'm gonna show you why Rick left me this key. And this key was for the bike and uh, I'm a little bit uh, <laughs> surprised now because there is no bike but I have the key so it's impossible to charge it and do anything with it but uh, now I have to find out where is the bike because uh, last time I saw it after Rick left it was here hopefully no one stole it because I think it's really First of all, difficult to steal anything on a tiny island. And this is such a special bike, and it will be very easy to recognize it. So, but I'm not jumping to conclusions. I will try to find out. So one thing I'm gonna do here now when I'm back at Nenes is tomorrow I'm gonna check if the computer guy have been able to save my MacBook. So uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, uh, if you haven't already, I would be happy to see you subscribe to my channel and even hit the notification bell. Um, then I guess it's not much more to say than stay safe, take care, all the best. Cheers. Singing